got a pretty uh, pretty tight race going tonight after that pre-judging with uh, Phil and Jay. What do you think about what's going to happen in a few hours, Chris? I think we're going to have a new champion, man, because I think, you know, it's unfortunate that uh, Jay didn't really hit his peak and then had some real complications with his physique. And uh, for the second year in a row, Phil he brought some, you know, a physique that's a phenomenal and didn't even improved on it this year, so the waist even looks smaller, but the upper body was just like astronomically big. So I think that's what's gonna go down. Jay looked a little, uh, you know, not as tight as he does. I mean, could things could happen in 24 hours. You know how the body works. Is well, there I any way you think that he could uh, make up maybe for those few points last night? No, I don't know. I'm just, you know me. I just go by what I see. So uh -huh. that's, that's what I feel behind that. You know. Uh, Strong showing from all, all the guys, uh, Victor, Baxter, Wolf. All the guys brought a lot of good physiques this year, so I was impressed. I'm glad to see that because, you know, I wasn't thinking it was that strong for the Arnold uh -huh. as far as the top 10 goes. So this top 10, which I think people, you know, even Brandon Curry, man, he brought a lot of heat. Man. Yeah, he was in that second call out. He looked really good last night. Jay might become the first Mr. Olympia to actually lose twice. Uh, how would that affect his legacy, you think, if he loses tonight? Well, you know, in my opinion, it's like, you had the Lee Haney, you had the, the type like uh, Dorian Yates or something like that. I just, uh, you know, for this time period, what he had to work with, who was going against, and everything. You know, the competition wasn't as steep as it was in the '90s, but yeah. for the most part, you know, he handled his, his deal during you know, the competition phase, but or uh, era of the last 10 years, you know. So it's, it's always good to have the torch passed, and it creates more excitement for the for sport. Uh -huh. And Phil Heath looks like it was a good call on his part to not compete at the Arnold and then go straight, you know, one contest a year and spend 12 months prepping for this one, right? Yeah, that's, I just wish someone like, the other bodybuilders took that and not even spend that much time like that, but he totally prepped and trained his, and manipulated his physique how he wanted it. Uh -huh. So that's, that's, that's good bodybuilding right there. And one, one last one, Kai Green looked really good last night. A little bloated still, but he has a lot of size. Well, if, you Kai think Green, if Kai Green took, sorry to cut you off, but if Kai Green took a, a page out of Phil Heath's book, Shorty worry about all that size, up. get that waist under control. Yeah. And, you know, it's, if things are a little bit blurry, like you will look 10 times bigger if you did that. Uh -huh. Sure, everything else comes up. Even huh? uh, Victor Martinez was like at all time lighter weight, but like his lines are back, you know, he was back on track to where he could be in a championship physique, so. A little difficult with Kai, because he just peaked at the New York Pro only a couple of months back, so. But I didn't really think that was peak. I didn't think that was peak. And it is hard to come back with that yeah. quick. It is. But I thought, I just expect so much more out of him, because you got that much muscle and that much to work with, all uh -huh. you gotta do is come down. It's like, bring that weight down. <laughs> that's like not eating so much. Yeah. When you were competing, did you prefer to do uh, less shows a year or more shows? I competed more. I competed. I was doing five shows every six months for ten years. And you preferred that? You were able to I stay. I preferred that. I was having to do that. <laughs> <laughs> but you were able to stay in condition in between shows, though, just to make was, it easier to get back. I didn't have much time. I only had like a month off. Uh -huh. So like no more time. You know. So. Do you miss it? Yeah, I miss. Mean, so I wish I could be. Cause I had a plan. Like before I got hurt, I had a, a whole other plan for these guys, man. <laughs> we had a whole other deal. You got a website you want to plug? Um, I'm just with Orange Muscle right now, but you can always get a hold of me at uh, uh, Cormier Enterprise at Yahoo.com. Great. Thanks so much, Chris. Hi, I'm Bridget Rowe, working with Fit Gum in Las Vegas. I'm watching Muscle Sport TV.